The attack on Saigon was part of a new wave of violence that hit at least a dozen cities and seemed almost everywhere to follow a pattern of initial rocket and mortar attacks. In the early hours of Sunday, communist forces blew up this bridge over the Saigon River. The defenders were a mixed bag of Vietnamese sailors, national police, militiamen, and soldiers. Their arms were not the most modern, but they fought well, did not run, and took casualties. Here, the fighting went on in a populous slum, where the enemy holed up right in the midst of the civilian population. Significantly, many of the civilians, like this old man, gave the government forces information on the whereabouts of the enemy. Some of the Viet Cong were captured wounded. Others of the enemy did not get out alive. When they felt it was safe, civilians began to flee. The ragtag Vietnamese troopers were trying to flush out the remaining Viet Cong, and the civilians didn't want to be caught in the middle of a new firefight. Then, crack Vietnamese Marines moved in, accompanied by tanks. The fleeing civilians told the Marines that a Viet Cong battalion was still hiding in the slum. This was probably wildly exaggerated, but it does seem to be building up here for more fighting. Tom Streithorst, NBC News, Saigon.